Good afternoon. I want to thank thank everyone for the honor of being here to speak. Uh, my father, Edward C. Benfold, he went to Audubon High School, was a member of the church choir, performed in school plays, was a member of the Civil Air Patrol, and among other activities as a typical high school student. He, like many other people, enlisted with the armed forces. He wanted to be on a battleship and be a gunner's mate, but the Navy said, Benfold, we need corpsmen. So a corpsman he became. After training and then serving at Philadelphia Naval Hospital and various other locations, he was assigned to the Marine Corps to help take care of the Marines in his division. In 1952, the summer, he followed them to Korea. His responsibility was to care for the Marines, their medical needs, from blisters to emergency care. One day on Bunker Hill, their division, their platoon, came under heavy fire. He went from foxhole to foxhole, taking care of the injured. One of those foxholes had two Marines. It was almost overrun. But he was able to stop them. Excuse me. He was doing his duty as many other resting here at Beverly have done. We're here today amongst resting souls who have sacrificed for our freedom and the freedom of others around the world. My father is resting here and is well among many other very good souls and company. May we, too, may we today remember all the Americans who gave the sacrifice so that we can enjoy the freedom and opportunities we have today. In September, I was able to meet with some Civil Air Patrol cadets. I was inspired that so many young people would spend the time with that service rather than playing video games and surfing the internet, as many young people do. It was inspirational. I think that's the future of our country and it's in good hands with those cadets. I want to thank those cadets for you are the future of our country and your services are an example to all of us. I want to thank the Civil Air Patrol for this act of remembrance today. Thank you very much.